a stupid Neanderthal thought. Men are Neanderthals. Primitive grunting baboons, that's what we are. That's how we should talk. <laughs> It's a simple, effective language for simple people, men. What's easier, please pass a turkey or just point the meat and Arr. Arr. It's so descriptive. You're a little confused. Arr. Now you understand. Arr. I would love to see corporate level grunting. Huh? Robert Stemple, the head of GM now, introduced in 1991's... Hey. <laughs> Simple, but effective. Yeah. And all the yellow-tied executives, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Little fanny kissers. <laughs> I'll have his job soon. Ah, 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 ah. I love cars. That's why I love being in Detroit. I love living in Michigan. Cars. Big ah, ah, ah. Ah. This year was a good year for me. I always wanted a black vet. Always from my 67 when they had the side oilers. I always wanted a big vet, man. I got a brand, brand new vet. Love this car. My Aunt Rose is pissed. Feminist. 30 years feminist and just so pissed. How could you be upset at a car? It's just a symbol of aggression. It's just a V8, man. It's just a V8. That's a problem. Oh, it's just an extension of your penis. <laughs> oh, I wish. <laughs> yeah. Big V8 cock. Ah, ah, ah. Two-seater dick. Leather upholstery. Come on, Ed. Men are great, man. We'll accessorize. Accessorize. Women accessorize. Men accessorize by putting penta wheels on a goddamn Corolla. We accessorize. I'll put chrome wheels on anything. My garden tractor, yeah. John Deere 160. I'll put hubcaps on it. She won't notice. $122. $122. Money well spent. She won't notice. Bullshit. Good God, did you put chrome wheels on that? Tractor? Yeah. <laughs> Why? Why? <laughs> Always scratch your ass when you're thinking. Because that's where a man's brain is. Right? And guys are stupid. Men are stupid. We're stupid people by nature. We're just dumb. We don't give a shit, by the way, when girls are like, men are dumb. Who cares? Well, I don't care. You think I care you think I'm dumb? I don't give a shit, I know I'm dumb. It feels really good. <laughs> Try going, going out your day without talking about a relationship. That's what you guys do all day. It's like, I heard he was with the bed and she was that. Like, and we just walk around like, uh, uh, uh. it's great. <laughs> it's fantastic. I don't worry about shit. It makes my day so much easier. But guys are idiots and I'm proud to be an idiot. But social cues amongst men is, are interesting because you got to be careful what you do in my neighborhood, right? Like in my neighborhood, it's a little bit different because when I walk down the street and I see another guy, right? I do this thing. If I see you and I walk down the street, right? We pass each other and I go like this. What do you do? If I go like, yeah, you dude me right back, right? You dude me right back. He dudes me. We dude it. Hey, dude it. We dude it. Do we know why we dude? No. Zero clue. We walk around like pigeons all day, like, hey, 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 hey. They don't give a shit. I do it to black guys to show them that I'm not a pussy. I go, hey, what's up? We good? We good? We're good. Go with the black guy. Take some fight breaks out. We're good. We got a black guy. We're good. We got one. We're good. We're good. We got him. I have no idea why we do that. We share genitalia. There's no other reason that we do that to one another. But you can't do that in my neighborhood because it means something totally different. <laughs> and it hurts. It hurts a lot. <laughs> I like living there. I do like it. I really do. Like, I, 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 like, I like living in Los Angeles. I like progressive culture, okay? 
I really do. I like the way that people think about other people as humans instead of a subsect, right? This country got all up in arms. Everybody voted to make bathrooms gender neutral. I don't know if you know about that, but there was a big debate going on around this country about should we make bathrooms gender? Should we be able to let other people use bathrooms that didn't initially have that genitalia, right? People that are transsexual. Should we let them use our bathrooms? Ooh, careful. Who knows what could happen? What could happen? Nothing. They're going to shit in your bathroom that you shit in. You think your bathroom's that important? Where you let go of all your fluids? You care that much about your fluids that you care who comes after? When I go in there, I'm like, there better be someone else decent that comes in after me. I don't want some transsexual coming in after that. Who knows what they'll do? Who do you think you are? It was a big debate. Gender neutral bathrooms. And I'm all for it. Bathrooms are bathrooms. I don't give a shit who uses my bathroom after me. Use it. You got to go? Go ahead. <laughs> Use the bathroom, man. It's a good thing. For years, I was sick and tired of going to a bar and seeing girls cut the bathroom line when theirs are too long. They walk to the guys and they go, hi, our line's too long. Do you think me, can we cut? Is this chill if we cut? I know this is a stereotypical impression. I don't, I don't give a shit. That's real. Can we cut? That's real. <laughs> and every asshole in line is like, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> also real. Also real. Also a real impression of us. You go like that. We go like that. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> so guys, let them in. I'm tired of that shit because we can't use your bathrooms. Guys can't use girls' bathrooms at bars. You can use ours. Why can't we use yours? The only thing I ever hear is, well, you pee on the seat. Do we? I don't. I don't pee on the seat. If you live with someone that pees on the seat, it's because they hate your fucking guts. 